G'day guys, Jeremy from TACMED Australia, uh, live in here uh, in the office in our actual boardroom. Uh, going on holidays in uh, about 20 minutes, so I spent the last hour or so just packing a um, packing a medical first aid kit uh, for my family. We've got a camper trailer, we're going to be going away on um, multiple camping trips, so I thought to put, put together a bit of a kit and... Uh, and so I just thought I'd show you guys through the kit, through the medical trauma kit. So I'm just going to change off my ugly face and put on the kit. So there it is there. So for our family camping trip, as I said, we've got the camper trailer. So I'm not really worried about the size. And uh, it's in a Pelican, Pelican case. The, uh, I think it's a 1550 or 1600 Pelican case. Um, but it's the injury and almond case from North American Rescue. And uh, so I'll open it up. It's obviously waterproof, crush proof. It can sit in the camper trailer. And uh, so I'll show you what's in, uh, what's in there. Alright, so it's a bit of a mixture of a trauma kit and a, uh, and a first aid kit. So, just starting down here, I've got all my, all my massive hemorrhage uh, equipment. So, I've got a couple of Israelis, got a couple of Elias, I've got a blast bandage uh, for large amputations, I've got some tourniquets, uh, I've got some wound packing, there's some quick clot uh, in there, which by the way, today we've got a, um, a big sale going on on quick clot. Still the five year shelf life and they're going um, for 69 bucks. So they're down from 105. Also got a a, um, a triage kit, you know, if we um, you know traveling traveling in the uh, in the camper trailer on the roads, come across a motor vehicle accident, got a um, a triage kit there. Very similar to the smart tags. Some trauma shears. Obviously you need to be able to expose the wounds and uh, all that type of thing. So that's down in there inside the kit so uh, I've got a pocket BVM in there for resuscitation obviously I'm I'm not really apart from my family members I'm not real keen on doing uh, mouth to mouth on randoms um, and obviously you get better um, better ventilations better tidal volumes and whatnot with a resuscitator so that's in there um, I've also got a sharps container I've got a, uh, a manual suction device as well. So a manual suction device in there. Got some chest seals, hyphen vent chest seals. Um, I've got some spew bags, just some vomit bags in there. Obviously the kids, if they get car sick or I don't want them spewing in my camper trailer, so I've got some, some in there. Um, I've got four Goodell Airways, a couple of nasopharyngeals with lube, multiple chest decompression needles uh, in there. Um, I've also got a um, 500ml bag of saline IV, cannulas, so everything I need to cannulate is in that bag, so if one of the kids or wife something gets, uh, gets violently ill and dehydrated in the middle of nowhere, we can do that. Um, so that's that little compartment there. A couple of small little ice packs, some tape, I love, the, uh, I love that cloth, I think it's a 3M Durasilk tape. So it's a cloth tape, so I love uh, having that in there. It's just a bit of micropore as well for dressings. Uh, in this little pocket here, I've got... Uh, actually, I might just stick with the trauma first. So I've got all my hypothermia management gear. Um, a small survival bivy. Uh, obviously a Sharpie. A couple of Sharpies, actually. Um, and, then, uh, and then some space blankets there. Always have a couple of multiple space blankets in there. Uh, so I've got a bit of a splinting compartment there, so a couple of SAM splints, so we can uh, I can do improvised cervical splints or cervical um, neck braces and whatnot. Um, multiple um, triangular bandages. Um, I've got a set of press for snake bite. Uh, just got some heavy crate and some medium crate bandages for bandaging, and really small ones there as well for the kids. I've got young kids, so all that type of gears in there. And then getting over to the dressings, so we've got um, just multiple, um, just lots of gauze for cleaning wounds. Um, island dressings, got eye pads in there, 
Just got 20 by 20s and 10 by 10 combines, uh, plenty of band-aids, um, some fix em all uh, dressing um, tape there to, for multiple dressings. And uh, so that's the, the main compartment of the case. It's a mixture of uh, mixture of trauma gear and then some basic first aid gear. So in the top of the lid, um, it's really well laid out in this injured ailment case. So you just take this cover off. And so we've got the, um, I've just got a few things in here to for sort of minor wounds things. Got some steri strips for larger lacerations. Um, just a bunch of larger fabric, fabric um, dressings. Um, of, so Matt, Matt Bryson, any, anything in here is, uh, is either on the TACMED website or um, we're able to um, pack it for you. Um, literally just put this kit together an hour ago for the family trip, but we can certainly help you out if um, you want a case like this. These cases are on the website. Um, just look up injury and ailment. Uh, so where was I? So got bandages. Just alcohol uh, free cleansing wipes. They're awesome. I use them all the time when the kids fall over. So I've packed heaps of them in. Uh, I've got splinter probes and just some uh, some needles for digging out splinters. Just a bunch of irrigation for wound irrigation. Also for eyes. Here's something in eyes. Just some tape. Um, some alcohol swabs. Um, I've got six pairs of the um, bear claw nitrile gloves. Um, I went for the tan. Um, if you've read some of the blogs before, um, the black gloves look cool, um, but it's hard to see blood on them. So got all um, got the bear claw in there. Uh, just a biohazard bag as well. Just some little um, burn gel, which you can use also on minor abrasions and stuff like that. Um, you know, either myself or the kids burn themselves on the uh, on the fire. Now I'm going to fill in this next part when we get home, when I get home. But again, this, this Velcro's down. Oh, sorry, I do. So I've got a bunch of burns equipment there. So I've got some big burn tech, um, 20 by 20s, 10 by 10s of the new burn tech um, dressings, and then uh, a big face mask that you can use for a big face shield or just a, uh, a large, um, large one. So that just sits on the back of the lid there. I couldn't fit them in the uh, in the main compartment of the trauma kit. So this area here is empty at the moment. So when I get home, I've got another another medic like a big medication um, box so I'm just going to put a bunch of like the Panadols, Nurofens, um, Endones and um, some some antibiotics, spare antibiotics, um, antihistamines, all that type of medication. Um, you know we, we like to go camping in quite remote areas so I like to be fully prepared there so I'll, I'll fill that up with medications both for adults and uh, and the kids. Um, and so yeah, that uh, that just velcros up there and sits in the lid. Normally you're not, you know, using that area very well. It's it's just so well laid out. Um, so that's the injury ailment case. So just minor wounds, medications behind it, and a mixture of trauma trauma gear there, which I showed you earlier in the video. So hopefully this case uh, just stays locked up in the camper trailer, and uh, we don't have to use it. But um, given my kids. And, uh, and how rough they are. No doubt something in this kit will get used. Hopefully nothing from this area here anyway. So that's the, uh, that's the trauma kit, injury and ailment kit. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, I'm clocking off for two weeks, so looking forward to that. So you won't see too much of me, but um, thanks for watching and uh, feel free to ask any questions below. Thanks guys, bye.